don't, don't call me Superman if you haven't found my kryptonite. What is going on YouTube? It is the Big K Cobbs360 here, and as you guys know, on the 14th of July 2015, we will be seeing the release and the unveiling of the R9 Fury Repeat, the Fury, not the Fury X. So this is essentially the air-cooled version of the Fury X, except this is based on Fiji Pro instead of the Fiji XT core, the Fiji XT GPU, meaning it is a cut down version. So essentially, the R9 Fury will actually have 3,584 stream processors. Now, this was disputed uh, back at AMD's big reveal. No one was really sure whether the $100 difference between this and the Fury X was because it was just air-cooled and it wasn't water-cooled or if there were less uh, stream processors. But now we know that there's only 3,584 SP, so we should be seeing slightly lower performance. However, I really don't think it's going to be that significant. I mean, if you look at the R9 290 versus the 290X, the 290 was a pretty big competitor with its bigger brother, man. So I'm sure this card will be just as good and it's going to be priced at $550. Now you see guys, the interesting thing is this card is going to be sitting somewhere between the GTX 980 and the 980 Ti and it's going to be launching at $550 which in the United States is around you know $50 or in, around $50 more than the GTX 980 but of course it performs better. But the thing is, like, NVIDIA, it's kind of a weird place to put a GPU because AMD already has the R9 390X competing with the 980 at high resolutions, mind you, not necessarily as well at, like, 1080p and whatnot, but this card is kind of like, it's like an outlier, you know what I mean? It's kind of in its own position. So it, it should be interesting. I really want to see how hard this overclocks. I'm going to show you guys on screen right now a picture of the Sapphire card. If you look at that, I mean, look at that fucking PCB extension, man. Holy crap. If you guys are confused as to why it looks like that, it is because, of course, uh, HBM takes up uh, much less, you know, surface area than GDDR5. So, of course, you've got that extra PCB space to ensure that you can actually fit the three fans on this GPU. So, it, it looks kind of ugly, I mean, to say the least, but... I don't know, hopefully like MSI or Asus or whatever come up with something a bit more elegant than this, but no, yeah, it's going to have 3,584 3, SPs, it's going to have a 1,000 megahertz core clock, 500 megahertz memory clock, you know, typical uh, 512 gigabytes a second of, mem uh, of um, you know, effective bandwidth. It's going to be sick, man. So, yeah, comment down below what you guys think. Will you buy this card? It's in a pretty good price positioning, man, but when it comes to Australia, oh, this card's going to cost, oh, I don't even want to know, man. $800, $750, dollars 800 so we're just going to have to wait and see. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys later.